Hello everyone. So I am back with the fourth and the final tutorial which is about analysis of the MD output files. So my molecular dynamics ran about 8 hours, last 8 hours and we are going to now analyze all the MD output files. For that I am going to my C directory, downloads and MD3 and then MD. So here you will see uh, a lot of output files have been generated during molecular dynamics simulation for system. So these all are the output files of molecular dynamics simulation. Now you can see a particular file that is the DCD file. That's a huge file, 1.3 GB nearly containing all the necessary informations of trajectories of the atoms, each and every atoms of our system. To analyze the output files, we'll open the VMD software first. Just take a while. And we'll go to the TK console to change our directory from the VMT home directory to our working directory that is C drive users onirban downloads MT3 and MD. We can also check all the files which are present in this directory using the ls command. Now I am going to open the protein structure file of our system that means the solvated ionized system that we created just before our simulation. So we will going to we'll be going to open the adrvpopcwi.psf the protein structure file containing all the essential informations of charges and bond informations and all. So we are going to load that and on top of the protein structure file we are going to open the trajectory file or the dot dcd file. So as you can see that the different atoms in our system are interacting with each other and you can also change uh, you can also see that the frames are changing so it will take a quite long time I'm skipping my video over here after completion of the frames I'm coming back so here you can see that 4020 frames are present and all have been done now we are going to analysis and from their RMSD trajectory tool which is a very important analysis in such molecular dynamics simulation where we are going to analyze the RMSD uh, change or RMSD fluctuation with time so before that we need to align the entire system So you can see in the RMSD fluctuation plot or RMSF versus time that the initially RMSD changes uh, quite rapidly and then after a certain period of time it gets uh, almost uh, what we can say stabilized. So here is the RMSD versus time plot which is also called RMSF or uh, root mean square deviation fluctuation so you can see that the change increases steeply initially and then it reaches a kind of equilibrium where the system gets kind of stabilized so generally a 5 nanosecond st uh, simulation is done but here uh, for the tutorial I have done a 0 0.2 nanosecond simulation and the 
thousand step uh, system energy minimization so it is one of the major important parts of molecular dynamic simulation analysis so on the x axis we have the time frames and on the y axis we have the rms and now uh, we are going to uh, visualize uh, the atomic interactions uh, that uh, generally take place in uh, real time so we are going to visualize the different protein atoms interacting with the solvent water molecules and the ions that are present in our system and obviously with the liquid by layer so as we know that such a system is absolutely not a static entity uh, such a system protein inside liquid by layer with solvent uh, is always a dynamic entity every atom is interacting with the surrounding atoms and we are uh, actually going to see uh, uh, that stuff that dynamic property uh, in real time after doing such molecular dynamic simulation and we'll see that over here we'll play um, the 0.2 nanosecond simulation uh, you can see that yes so I'll zoom in. You can see that the proteins, uh, different chains of the proteins are moving in the lipid bilayer. All the lipid uh, atoms are also interacting with the surrounding water molecules, and obviously we cannot visualize right now. But there are ions present in the system in the water, so they are all interacting with each other. And you can see, uh, as I have showed you from the RMSD plot that after a certain period of time the entire system reaches a stabilized condition and from there we actually we actually can get a much more realistic and stabilized protein structure so this is the purpose of molecular dynamic simulation to get uh, a kind of real structure from the crystallized crystallized structure so we are almost done uh, our molecular dynamic simulation uh, is done and the analysis is also done so very much thank you uh, for listening to my these four tutorials i'll be back again with some new stuff thank you So this is the final representation of our simulated system using uh, Discovery Studio software. You can see that the extracellular and the intracellular water layers are represented in blue color, the lipid bilayer in yellow and the protein in red. So that's all. Thank you.